In this video, we're going to take a look at another type of first order differential equations. This video is going to focus on what are called homogeneous equations. The question is going to be, how do we solve homogeneous equations? And first, with a homogeneous equation, we need to be able to identify that our equation is actually homogeneous. And the way we do that is we're going to get the equation written in the form of some function of x and y times dx plus some function of x and y times dy equals 0. And then the test we're going to say is if m of x t y t, replacing each x with an x t, replacing each y with a y t, if we're able to factor out t to some power and what's left is the original function, and same thing with the other side with the dy part. If we replace the x t, y t, we get t to that same exponent. It has to be the same exponent, x, y. Then we have a homogeneous equation. And with a homogeneous equation, our strategy is going to be to let y equal a u times x, which if you solve, then u is equal to y divided by x. Or sometimes it's more convenient to do an x equals. x equals u times y. Same idea then, u would be equal to x over y. On the left side, we have y equals ux. If we take the derivative of both sides, the derivative of y will be dy. The derivative of u is du times the x, plus the derivative of x is dx times the u using the product rule. Same thing on the right side. dx is going to be equal to the derivative of u du times the y, plus the derivative of y, which is dy, times the u. When we make this substitution with y and dy or x and dx, it will always make the homogeneous equation into a separable equation. And we've solved lots of separable equations before, so that should be easy to handle after we make that substitution. So let's see if we can do that with some examples. We're going to start with 2xy, y prime, is equal to 4x squared plus 3y squared. And remember, another way to write y prime is dy dx which means if we multiply both sides by the dx, we end up with 2xy dy is equal to 4x squared plus 3y squared dx. And we could make it equal to 0 if we want. It's not really necessary for homogeneous equations. But before we solve it as a homogeneous, we need to verify that it is, in fact, homogeneous. And the way we do that is we take this 2xy, and we replace the x with xt, and we replace the y with yt. If I pull those t's out front, we have t squared times 2xy. And notice that 2xy is the original function that was with the dy. So I'm feeling pretty good there. Hopefully, we'll get a similar result on the other side. With the 4x squared, now it becomes 4xt squared plus 3y squared, which now becomes yt squared. 
Well, if I square into the parentheses, we have a t squared on the first term and a t squared on the second term. Factoring out the t squared, it's going to leave behind 4x squared plus 3y squared. And notice that matches the original function that we started with, with a t squared out front. Because that matches, we can conclude that this is, in fact, a homogeneous equation. If it's homogeneous, we're going to make the substitution with either y equals ux or x equals uy. I want to note that this side of the function is simpler. More simple. So we're going to make, we're going to use the dy side for our substitution. If the dx side was simpler, we'd make the dx our substitution. But since the y is more simple, we'll say y equals ux as our substitution. That's going to make this equation work. When I take the derivative of y, we get dy equals the derivative of u is du times x plus the derivative of x is dx times u. Now we can make that substitution into this blue line that we've got above. We've got 2x times y. y is u times x, makes it x squared. The dy then becomes x du plus u dx is equal to 4x squared plus 3y squared. And when I square the y, we get u squared x squared times dx. A little bit of algebra, and this is going to become my separable equation. I'm going to distribute through the parentheses with both the dx and the 2x squared u. That's going to give me 2x cubed u du plus 2x squared u squared dx equals 4x squared dx plus 3u squared x squared dx. I'm going to move all of my dx's to one side, all of my du's to the other side as we start getting ready to separate. When I do that on the left, I have 2x cubed u du equals, factoring out the dx, I end up with 4x squared plus 3u squared x squared. Oh, we got a like term, actually. When I subtract the 2, I end up with 1u squared x squared dx. And I'm running out of space on my screen. But you can see it's got the makings of a separable equation. If we factor out the x squared on the left, it gives us 2x cubed u du equals x squared times 4 plus u squared dx. Dividing both sides by x cubed, we get 1 over x dx on the right. Divide both sides by 4 plus u squared, we get 2u over 4 plus u squared du. And now we have completely separated our equations. We're ready to just integrate both sides. When we integrate, we get the natural log of 4 plus u squared equals the natural log of x plus a constant. We can exponentiate both sides. That's going to give us 4 plus u squared equals e to the natural log of x is just x. e to the c is just a constant. It's a different constant, but it still is a constant. And we've solved the separable equation. But don't forget, the original equation did not have any u's in it. It had y's in it. So we're going to make a substitution. We know that y equals ux. That means u is equal to y divided by x. And so that substitution can be used back in our u to give us 4 plus y over x squared becomes y squared over x squared equals cx. 
and clear the fraction out to make it pretty. Multiply by x squared, 4x squared plus y squared equals cx cubed for our final implicit solution. So these are going to start to take a little bit more paper to get there. First, we have to verify it's homogeneous by substituting the xt and the yt in. If it is homogeneous, we pick the easier side, dy or dx, and make that substitution, either y equals ux or x equals uy. Also calculate dy so that we can make the substitution, which turns it into a separable equation. And then I can substitute back to get my final solution. Let's try one more of these before I let you go to practice. Number two is going to be xy prime is equal to y plus the square root of x squared minus y squared. And let's even give it an initial value at 1 comma 0 so we can actually find the constant. Well, remember, y is dy dx. So I can rewrite this as x dy is equal to y plus the square root of x squared minus y squared dx. Testing to see if this is homogeneous. We replace the x with xt. And it almost seems trivial just to show that the t comes out and we're just left with x, the original function. With the y, we replace the y with yt plus the square root of y or x squared, t squared minus y squared t squared, replacing x and y with t. Notice we have a t squared under the square root. We can factor out the t squared. Take the square root of t squared is just t, and then factor a t out of everything, because there's also 1 on the y. And we get t times y plus the square root of x squared minus y squared, which matches the original equation. Therefore, I know I have a homogeneous equation. All right, if it's homogeneous, we'll pick on the simpler side. dy is definitely simpler than the dx side. So we're going to do a y equals u times x. The derivative of y is dy equals, using the product rule, the derivative of u times x plus the derivative of x times u. And so we can make our substitution in this blue line up here x dy, which becomes x du plus u dx, is equal to y, which is ux, plus the square root of x squared minus y squared, which becomes u squared x squared dx. Now we solve. And this should become a separable equation. Distributing the x through, we get x squared du plus ux dx equals. Distributing the dx through, we get ux dx plus, I'm going to simplify a little bit here. There's an x squared on both terms. Factor that out and take the square root. We get x times the square root of 1 minus u squared dx. We want to move all the dx's to one side, which is nice because when I subtract ux, those will subtract out to 0. And so we're left with x squared du equals x times the square root of 1 minus u squared dx. And this indeed is separable. Dividing both sides by the square root, we get 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du. Dividing both sides by x, we get 1 over x. Sorry, dividing by x squared dx. And that gives us something that we can integrate on both sides in order to solve. The left side might look familiar. That's a sine inverse of u is equal to the right side, which is the natural log of x 
plus our constant. To solve for the u, get rid of the sine inverse. We'll take the sine of both sides, which gives us u is equal to the sine of the natural log of x plus a constant. And going back up to the beginning, where we see y is equal to ux, we also know then that u is equal to y over x. And so we're going to make that substitution. So u becomes y over x equals the sine of the natural log of x plus c, multiplying both sides by x. And we get the explicit solution, y equals x sine of the natural log of x plus a constant. So again, these are starting to take more paper to get there, but that's just really showing your work and grinding out the solution. The process is very simple. First, we verify it's homogeneous by replacing x with xt and y with yt. If it is homogeneous, we make y equal to ux or x equals uy. Calculate our dy or our dx, substitute in, and then solve the resulting separable equation. It's your turn to practice some of these. Good luck on the homework, and let me know if you have any questions.